What's going on, everybody? It's Holy Joe Rock and Roll reporting to you live from a low-end luxury suite at the Hilton Hotel in Prague. This is in the news, and while this is a controversial issue, I want to talk to you about Donald Sterling, the owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, and his comments. Now, there has been widespread criticism of Donald Sterling, and I am not about to uh, defend Donald Sterling or his comments. However, I challenge you to listen to the, the full audio tape, the full audio tape, and you will note that Donald Sterling did not say anything overtly racist. You can tell if you listen very carefully, it's pretty obvious that his girlfriend, his lover, his biatch, V. Stiviano. What's V standing for? Vagina Stiviano? Because she'll give you a Stiviano, even if you are 80 years old and look like death warmed over. Come on, everybody can tell that this is nothing more than a war on men. Continuation or another chapter in the war on men. Here you have this rich billionaire, happens to be Jewish. Um, <laughs> we know how we know how Jews love the Schwarze, eh? the Schwarze. <laughs> and, you know, 78, 87% of the NBA is African American, blacks running, you know, playing the game. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, blacks should just form their own league, although it may be, they just own the league, own the league, right? Gosh. But that's so maybe get ahead of ourselves. Obviously, if you listen, if you listen to the audio tape, it's pretty obvious that Stiviano, Vagina Stiviano, the Stiviano, is uh, a girlfriend lover of Donald Sterling, <clears throat> and he was basically saying, "Listen, bitch, I don't care what you do in private, but you're embarrassing me by hanging out with these numbskulls, right? Taking pictures and posting them online because you look like a whore." Anyways, you're my whore, and, but you don't need to advertise it to everybody else. That's what I get out of it. You know, this is an older man trying to maintain some kind of control over his little biatch and trying to teach her, hey, listen, uh, you know, I'm trying to teach you how to present yourself publicly. So, I'm, again, I'm not defending his comments, but I can understand, I mean, if you're a man and you've got a girlfriend, and she's running around with other guys, and you're concerned about that, you would probably say the same thing. Uh, obviously, if she was hanging out with white basketball players, he would probably have had different comments. But the fact that they were all black is why he was saying, hey, why do you have to hang out with these black guys? That's that's all I'm saying. I'm, again, I'm not defending his comments. Uh, I don't think that he should be... You know, this guy, another Jew, the... Uh, what is he... NBA counselor, another another fucking what's it? Diamond, silver, silver, Goldstein, another Jew who runs the damn league again. Guys, you guys are blacks are still on the plantation. I just want to sing, swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Bust out, people! You guys are the backbone of this league. Start your own league. Start your own teams. Come on. <laughs> I mean, there's so much black on black crime. Why not have black on black baseball, basketball, whatever? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, Silver. So Silver comes out strongly condemning this guy. You know, either A, this is a rush to judgment, or B, there are a lot of vendettas against this guy uh, that they would want to take away Donald Sterling's franchise. Uh, obviously, there's been a history of racial things, whatever, saying that. Uh, he and his wife didn't want to rent out to blacks. They have some apartment building. They didn't want to rent out to blacks. I don't think, well, I, I wasn't there. I don't know. Uh, I just know that when I was renting out my house, uh, I wasn't opposed to black people. I had black people actually renting out my house. They're actually pretty okay. But, you know, you, it's not about color. It's about, it's about money. You know, if you, it doesn't matter what color you are. If you can pay your rent, um, you're probably welcome. You're more than welcome to rent. If there's a question about your, you know, I had this one woman come. I asked her to fill out an uh, application, and she only earned $400 a week. And that is the, 
in New York, that's the unemployment rate, $400 maximum, $400 a week, uh, as I remember at the time. So this is an unemployed woman who was going to rent a house, and she had no money. Uh, she happened to be African-American. I didn't rent to her not because she was black, but because she simply couldn't afford it, and she's on unemployment. What kind of what kind of deal is that? You know, that's going to eventually run out, and if she doesn't have a job, she's not going to pay her rent. Then got to evict her, et cetera, et cetera. And come on, the amount of money that she brought in would be barely enough to pay the damn rent. So, again, I'm not defending his comments. Probably could have spoken in a different way. Maybe he could have been more direct. Like, look, bitch, stop. You're with me. I'm paying for that pussy. Stop running around with these other guys. You know, regardless of color. All right, this has been in the news. Holy Joe rock and roll. Personally, I think professional sports is a waste of time. But, Henny, if you watch the games, it's on you. Till next time, peace.